the natural law of man is for if you do something wrong, there's going to be a consequence. When I was a little girl, third grade, I rode my bicycle all the way across town to get some candy. I knew it, I knew I wasn't even supposed to cross the street, and they called the police on me. And every, I knew I was going to be in trouble. There are consequences for actions, but it seems like in this world today, the people that go after the bad guys are vilified, while the criminals seem to be put on pedestals. You see, you hit it right on the hip, because I always say this uh, when they, they accuse me of punishing, using the word punishment, uh, the legal word punishment. When I go to court, they zero in. You say you're going to punish the inmates. I said, yeah, we used to punish our children, used to, uh, when you did something wrong, take away their privileges. I do the same thing. So I take away their porno, their cigarettes, their coffee. Is that punishment? Yeah, it is punishment. So why legally or otherwise am I chastised for using the name punishment? Right. Exactly. Now, I'm telling you right now, I'll tell everybody, if I kill someone or if I rape someone... I don't expect to get anything. I want to go to jail. I want to sleep on the floor. What is wrong with people that think that it's wrong for people to sleep on cots or sleep in tents and not have fancy food? I didn't even know you could get porn in jail. What's the deal with this? Well, I, that's, well, not in my jails now because I changed it after 20 years ago. But, but who knew that you, why can you get porn in jail? Well, I guess you'll have to maybe talk about uh, the uh, freedom of speech and, and the Constitution and uh, decisions by Supreme Court justices uh, that allow this to happen. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, uh, it boils down to people that run prisons and jails, uh, how they want to do it. It's very simple to do what you feel is right. Uh, and if you have to fight the system and go through the courts, so be it. I, I don't mind being sued. Uh, in fact, uh, being sued is good in a way because then I can get the uh, truth out and, and let the jury uh, uh, or the courts decide what's right and what's wrong. But when you're always afraid to do something because you're going to get sued or chastised or, or lose some votes, you want to be politically correct, which the majority of the system wants to be politically correct, and don't fight the system, uh, then you can't really get things done. So do you think, why don't other sheriffs step up, elected sheriffs? I know that there's a difference, but with an elected sheriff, you pretty much have rule of the roost, right? Yeah, well, thank God that I'm elected, because I, w I wouldn't be talking to you Right now, if I was appointed, I'd be fired uh, tomorrow. Uh, but why other sheriffs don't do what I do? I'm not going to uh, criticize them. Uh, I don't run the world. I run Maricopa County. Uh, they have their own constituency, and they make their own decisions. They don't want to do it. That's their problem. But I represent the 4 million people that live in the uh, Maricopa County, Arizona. I always joke there's a few others floating around, so... We got four million that we know of, and I'm not just talking about snowbirds that visit temporarily. We have a lot of illegals floating around, uh, illegal aliens. Uh, so um, I just do what I feel is right for the people that I serve. Evidently, they like what I'm doing because I keep getting uh, hired every four years, reelected. Uh, but as far as the rest of the nation, I try to uh, do what I do. Unfortunately or fortunately, uh, my programs reach uh, the four corners of the earth. Uh, and maybe I help in my own way to uh, stimulate uh, talk and uh, other people make changes.